Welcome guys, welcome to this under investigation video. Today we're looking at protest number 20 of the current season. Uh, this incident happened in uh, Montreal, round 2 of the Super Super Formula uh, series on Thursday, last Thursday. Um, so the incident happened on lap 5, approaching um, the last chicken at Montreal. We got some glowing brake discs. That's the first time I noticed that. Uh, and a contact between two cars. So we're gonna make sure that we cover all the angles for the stewards. Uh, this one seems a bit uh, straightforward. Of course, I don't know much about these cars. Um, so they're breaking points. Uh, However, by rule, uh, you have to establish overlap before the turn in. So, turn in point was. So, break, 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 and then start turning in there. And um, so, maybe a car and a half uh, before this box there. And just for reference, maybe taking a car in front. So the turn in was for this car was a bit late. I mean, he missed uh, totally here the apex. What about uh, Jeff? Well, Jeff was offline. Not good. Not a very good example. So, turning in starts pretty early, if you're carrying a lot of speed. Alright, so, about... Well, Pablo here um, started turning in at the 100 board, uh, coming back to Brett. So, started turning in, and I don't believe we have overlap here. So, yep. So the car is not fully alongside. Well, the tires are not level enough. All right, so in PRL, our front tires need to be level with the right rear tires of the turn in, which did not happen there. So, again, pretty straightforward. Um, these things happen so fast. Again, I don't blame anyone. It's just that the overlap wasn't achieved. Therefore, you should have backed out. Uh, to, uh, to fight another day. So, uh, I'll send this to the stewards, but uh, pretty simple again. So, have a nice day, everyone, and see you on track.